Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Recently I've been working on a project and I know I wanted to have some water uh, within the scene. Somewhat of a river flowing and I kind of wondered how I would approach that because I knew that foam would be a big part of that. So a couple days ago and last night I, I was messing around experimenting trying to get some really aggressive looks with water with displacers and planes. So I'm going to be showing you how I did that today, it was really quick, it was all in the texture, it didn't take long at all, uh, all within Octane, but it should, should be pretty easy to do it as well in default C4D, but I haven't tried that yet, just in Octane, so that will be today's tutorial, it just consisted of a mixed material, one material with the uh, water going in, in into the opacity, I got a transform on that in case I wanted to change the size of it at all. Um, you don't. I think it looks pretty cool if you go quite far up. Um, that would probably work a bit better for a river, although it does get a bit low res. And then the other specular material with the normal map, which came in quite useful, and the absorption, and then of course our displacement as well. If you want to see way that works you can see it there is if you want some kind of extruded foam that looks pretty cool from a distance uh, it makes the water look really nice but I found it's on a good about 12 something like that and it looks nice so I will create a new composition and we'll get started with this okay so to start off with we'll just grab a plane and we'll maybe put this to 50 by 50. Well, here we are back on the hot muggy street of New York. Um, we'll put this in a subdivision in a bit uh, to help that. Uh, 1500. 1500 is quite good. Something like that. Then we will just duplicate this in case we need it again. Make it editable, control A, extrude, drag cabs, bring it up, something like that. Go into our displacers, hold shift, and it goes right in. Noise. Electric. Maybe turn brightness down a bit. Contrast up a bit. And maybe put it five hundred. This to 30, and then we'll put this in a subdivision. I'm going to bring this down a bit. Okay, so we've got our water now, quick and easy. I'm going to do my lighting quickly. So I'll set it up, I'll just use the same as last time. Find my light source, it's up there. Daylight, mix texture. You don't know how to do this, just match your daylight waves. Something like that, then we'll match the size. Jump in our camera, and that's the lighting match. Okay, so now we'll get into this amazing water texture okay we will make a new material specular now the reason we extruded this is because it makes the specular material look much much better so there's your reason for medium absorption medium we'll come way down something like that transmission just finding the right 
right tint. I don't want it too blue, but blue enough. Bring that down a bit more. Okay, right, we'll stick with that for now. Uh, we'll create another material. In fact, we'll create a mixed material now. Call it water. Oh. We'll bring in our specular. Put that under material one. Replace the material on our plane. We'll bring in another material. Call this foam. Put that on material one. We will grab a image texture and another image texture. And we'll put this under the opacity. I'll leave this in the description. We will get our normal water foam. And you can see that will overlay there now. We'll take our second one and plug it into the normal. Don't think it matters which normal you put it into, it just matters that you have the normal. We can always put another one into the diffuse to help with the blueness. And then we can add our displacement. Now you want to keep the displacement quite light, but at the same time, you want it to be visible. So this is going to be what makes ah this thing. There we go. It's going to be what makes it pop. Maybe fifteen. And we can see that was quick and easy. And we have our water foam now. It's all in the material. When it comes to animating, you can animate this. Uh, I haven't really messed about with the animating too much, but uh, you can definitely get some cool animations going off of this. We'll just maybe set up our scene a bit more. Maybe do like 0.4 because there'll be a lot of fireflies on that. Thing. I'm going a bit too fast there. And as you can see, um, sort of port realistic looking water. Uh, just like that. So if you need this for an image, this is very good uh, when it comes to Animating I think you could pull it off. Just do it carefully. Just use the animation speed Inside the noise here Like that and give it a play and you can see it's animating uh, Now one thing you could do is We could duplicate our displacer here Save this. Bring down the height to maybe 25. Bump. 15. Fall off. And sphere. Make that quite long. Bring it up a bit. And then if you want to get some really linear waves, you could use that. That seems going quite slow right now. Just so if you want to get some really linear waves going off, um, and maybe go higher up, reverse it a bit. So if you want to do waves, you can duplicate that, you can have it going over. That's just one way that I can think of, um, experiment with it, try and get some cool results. 
I looked around for water tutorial. I didn't know what to do it, so I was like, what am I gonna do? And I looked everywhere and there just isn't a tutorial to make water foam. So I thought, okay, it was like one o'clock in the morning last night, I was about to go to bed. I thought, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna try and make it right now and try and understand this because nobody did it. Like no one's done it yet. So, you know, first tutorial, uh, water foam and some of and octane. Uh, please like this one and subscribe because um, you know, for that original content you don't you don't see this uh, all that often. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.